to go to Hernando County tonight where we've seen a lot of flooding from Idalia storm surge. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcedo has been there for the last 48 hours now talking to leaders and neighbors dealing with the impact. Angelina, you've uh, seen flooding, you've seen fire and talk to people who've lost it all. Dave and Carolina, the impact from Hurricane Idalia much stronger than what many in these communities thought it was going to be. But tonight, they tell me they're just grateful things weren't worse. Whipping winds and heavy rain. Our backyard, dude. Led to flooding and overwhelming storm surge. It got real deep real fast and then the water started coming in like crazy. We almost like didn't make it. This mother and her son needing rescue from Pine Island after a car battery failure delayed their evacuation. It's a little scary. Miles away in Wikiwachi. Everything that was boxed up, everything that fell over, I mean it's wet. John Borghardt's home inundated after the river spilled out of its banks. 6.50, 7 a.m. Water started coming in. About an hour later, it reached up into my house. Walk outside and everything's floating around, blowing around. After Hurricane Ivalia's landfall, you can see water still partially covers these Hernando County roads. Take a look from above and you'll see why these communities surrounded by channels and sit right on the Gulf of Mexico's coast. Flooding is extremely scary. I mean, I didn't know what to think at all. I mean, I was panicking. I didn't know what to do. And the water just kept rising. Emergency officials say high tide set at 3.9 feet. The surge brought in from Ivalia at least four feet more. In Hernando Beach, fire crews navigate the water to put out this fire. I called 911 and um, they let us know that the fire department couldn't safely come out and put the flames out. A neighbor stepped out to help in the middle of the storm, fighting flames with a power washer. I know he was there trying to protect his house, but he cared about the whole neighborhood as well. Because the truth is, with the wind blowing this way, it could have gone from house to house and we could have had a much bigger disaster. Neighbors helping neighbors. That is what we've seen in every single community that we've gone through today. Now the damage will be assessed by the county into tomorrow. The power crews that you're seeing behind me from Spring Hill, they will work to get the power back on in Hernando County tonight. Angelina Salcedo, 10 Tampa Bay. A lot of really lucky people there in Pasco County.